In this Hunter Call of the Wild video, I'm gonna be attempting the hardest challenge I've ever attempted. Now this challenge in and of itself isn't really that hard, but for me, it's gonna be really hard. And here's the challenge. My objective is to kill an animal with every single gun in the game. However, I only get to use one bullet per gun. And whenever I miss or don't kill something with my one bullet, the challenge is over. So this could actually be really long. This could be really slow. I'm just gonna start off with the guns I already have equipped, a 22, a 243 and a 7mm should be able to kill anything but oh man oh there's a turkey our first target and it is a mating call now i could go for a hail mary and start slinging 300 yard shots but that also increases the risk of not killing something significantly i came to silver ridge peaks because it's the only map i can actually find animals let's see that turkey seems to be tucked in there somewhere i just can't see it Oh, there it is. It's white. I'm thinking 243. Thing was a little bit of what? Hey, let's go for it. Here we go. All right, we stinking got him. Let's go. All right, now let's put the 22 and see if we might get another one. We might get another one right here. Oh, he's coming right towards me. Oh, that was such a risky shot. I forgot what I was doing right here for a second. I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> And it landed right on top of me. That was literally perfect. I literally forgot I was doing the challenge and took a crazy risky shot. But luckily, I think I hit it in the wing. Uh, technically, I didn't hit it at all. But the game the game said I did. So, you know, I'll take... Oh, a gold turkey? Oh, my goodness. That's pretty good. The challenge has lasted a lot longer than I thought it would. Especially after taking an insanely risky shot like that. But now, I got the 7mm Magnum. And after I kill that, if I kill an animal with that, we're going into the inventory and we're gonna be picking out three more guns now here's the catch except it's not really a catch but i can use it to my advantage if i just want to go around shooting a bunch of rabbits that's fair game let's see where did i hit this i hit him a little low but it killed him so it counts this challenge so far is going pretty good what's gonna get real crazy is whenever i pull out a bow or something and i've got like a deer like 90 yards and i'm pretty sure i can kill it but i don't know if i can kill it that's when i think it's gonna get tough let's drop over in this draw and see if we can see anything. Oh, snap, boys. We get a legendary thing up there and a black bear. That is a long shot on a moving animal. That would be a not very smart shot to take. However, I have seen this cat in this area for probably a year and I've never been able to kill it. Now, I really want to kill that cat because I've seen it so many times, but I don't think this challenge is the one that we need to be doing that on. So let's go ahead and fast travel to a new location on the map. And for this, I'm going way down here to where we actually first spawn in. Hey, I'll tell you this. If we can get on some bison or even right there is a monstrous black bear. Oh, we're killing that black bear. But if we can get on some bison, them things got big old lungs. If we miss one of those lungs, we're in bad shape. I don't know how, but we just lost that bear. Oh no, there goes a bear. That's a different bear though. 100 and something yards. That's not even the big bear. I think we take the shot, man. We're using a seven mil. It can go right through that. Oh, he's giving us a perfect shot. That's a perfect shot. The thing's going down. 100%, the thing is going down. And that's my one bullet with the seven millimeter. If the bear don't go down, the video's over. I don't know what happened. Oh, oh, no way, no way, no way. He's fleeing right towards me. This does not count in the challenge, but he is a big bear and I have to shoot him. I repeat, this does not count in the challenge, but this bear is way too big not to pass up. I don't know if his plan on, is on charging me or what. Oh, he's got to go down, right? He's got to go down, right? One of those had to have been a lethal shot. You're telling me neither one of those shots was a lethal shot? I'm glad I specifically said this does not count because I would have been out right now. Yeah, that bear don't count. I was just trying to get him because he was a big bear. But as for the one bear that did count, let's check him out. 1300 bucks cash. He was a big one. Almost a gold. Solid. Very solid. Then over here, we got the problem child. Can't believe I missed him that many times. That's why this challenge is gonna be hard for me. You see how hard it is for me to get a good aim. A flesh, hit him in the stinking nothing. Second shot, hit him again in the flesh. Third shot in the head somehow. Four shot in the pelvis. Five shots on the bear. Didn't get a single, not a single vital organ. With extreme penetrating seven millimeters, five shots, 51 yards, 31 yards. Didn't get a single vital organ hit. That's why this challenge is gonna be hard for me. That's that's the reason. Now let's get out of here and we're actually changing maps all together and we're going to a mystery map. 
Oh gosh, where are we at? Is this New England? I can't remember. Hey, let's go. New England. This should be awesome. I like New England. It's a good map. But this is where the story gets interesting. Not only is this one of the hardest challenges I've ever been a part of, but for this challenge, I need you to challenge me. Think of some of the funnest, hardest challenges within Hunter Call of Wild that you can come up with and you let me know because I am going to do them. Hmm, 45 Colt for Full Metal Jacket. That'll be fun. And then let's do a stinking uh, random bullet. This one. Oh, 6.5? Yeah, we can get that. That done pretty easy i think so it looks like we're going with 30 alt 6 6 5 45 here's a 45 that's gonna be hard that's not gonna be easy here's one of my favorite guns in the game the stinking 30 alt 6 it's a killer i love that gun and then of course the 6 5 which is extremely based but i want y'all to go down in the comments comment a fun challenge and if you see someone else's comment that's a cool challenge and you like it hit the like button that way i will be able to see it dude i'm be honest i'm kind of getting nervous about this one right here unless Unless I play my calls right, that might be the last gun of this challenge. Now, I'm going to try to go as long as I can. It's 15 o'clock. Should be able to walk right out here in some of these fields and get something. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Pulling out to 6.5, pulling out to 6.5. There goes a stinking raccoon. I'm not taking that shot. When have I ever passed up a shot like that? But I'm passing up the shot because I know there's a great chance that would be the end of the video. That was a raccoon though. The 6.5 probably could have killed it. We're hunting in a pumpkin patch. They will be more targets. And this isn't a timed challenge. It's just a don't miss challenge. But while we're walking through this pumpkin patch, if y'all want to pick up some epic new merch that we just got, KendallGrayWarn.com slash shop is the first link in the description. There's also t-shirts there. And if you use promo code GAMING10, it gets you 10% off your entire order. So check that out if you want to. And now we're going to walk into this other pumpkin patch. And hopefully we can see a moose because I'm saving the 30 alt 6 for the moose. I was just sitting here and I think a moose is walking up right behind me. It's got to be right over here in this pumpkin patch. I just don't see it yet. It's close because I could hear it walking and then it went ah! So things stinking close, but I don't want to make a bad shot. There's the moose. It's right over there. This must be a different one though. Dude, this 30 alt 6 does not mess around at all. I'm gonna get right here in the edge of this pumpkin patch. We're just gonna set our butt down on a pumpkin and we're waiting for him to come to us. It's the smartest thing to do in this situation. There's the moose that I, that was in my ear. Now we just sit and wait. He should be coming right through there. Dude, this bull moose is rutting hard. He's got to be popping. Is that him? I see his legs coming. He's about to enter the field. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. The moose is here. Oh, I could smoke him right there. Let's stink and do it. Next time he stops, I think we're putting the 30 6 in him. Okay. That's what I'm talking about, man. Yeah, dude. That moose is just sitting there chilling. He ain't going nowhere. Dude, he came in from like 250 yards away too. And is he a big one? Not really. But that perfect heart shot. Nice. Our job is about to get easy or hard. That just depends on which animal walks out next. <laughs> Welcome to Australia, where we have a goat 66 yards away. We're gonna creep up on it as close as we can get, but if we're gonna use a pistol, this might be the time. Oh man, 60 yards away? Oh man, I don't trust that. Nope, nope, nope. We're gonna be smart, we're using the 6.5. Welcome to Australia. Let's think and go, baby. Gun was a little too big technically, but I hit it at about every organ it had. That's nice. That's nice. But that does really, really do leave us just to the pistol. I say we pack our bags and we go to the coast and let's see if we can make something interesting happen with a crocodile and one shot from a 45 long colt revolver. <laughs> Boys, we're not even to the water yet, and I'm spotting stinking crocodiles. This place is covered with them. And my plan 
is to go for a headshot or get one to go aggressive and chase me down, giving me a very close shot, and then it's just up to me to make it a vital shot. The thing with these crocodiles, though, if you get close, they will let you know where they are. They will either growl at you or start chasing you or something. Like, you will know they are there. Usually, I would never come into this area without my 10 millimeter, but sometimes you just gotta risk it for the biscuit, you know? I think one's coming. I think one's coming. I think he might be coming. All right, that's my one shot. Is it enough to sink and kill it? I don't know, it ain't going down. Abort mission, abort mission. All right, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Reload, reload, reload. This ain't the place to be. Watch him, watch him. I can hear it, I can hear it. I can hear it coming. There it is, there it is, there it is. Watch him, watch him, watch him, watch him. This went from a, a, a stinking little survival video into a, a fight for my life. Is that him right there? That's him. There's two of them. Headshot. Let's go. Headshots, baby. Let's see if you go headshots, baby. That's what I needed to do with this stinking revolver. Let's check out this one we just killed, and let's see if that bullet even went through its skin. May not have been tough enough. That first shot. Oh, you're kidding me. The first shot was a double lung, and it was gonna die. Wow, that's crazy. The first shot was gonna kill it if I just backed off and gave it time. But the second shot definitely killed it. Now let's go check out these two that I got headshots on. Let's see. That first one was in the arm, not a good shot. The second one, straight through his head and neck. And this one, first one was through his jaw and upper neck, and the second one in the head again. Not bad, but now technically, the challenge is over, and I lost because I didn't kill an animal with my one bullet. Click over here for whenever I've done the ultimate bow challenge where I killed a ton of crocodiles right in a row, or right over here for whenever we go deer hunting in Hunter Call the Wild.